Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Studio Series Crosshairs. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review will be separately uploaded. Also, this guy is quite intricate, so I'm going to do my very best to be as detailed as possible. So just bear with me. I've also took the spoiler part off, which does attach there. It just makes it a bit easier to show you things um, as I'm transforming them. So we'll start off very simply by folding the wrists into the forearms like so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to turn our attention to the leg. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically fold the leg over on itself. So you've got this grey dark roll here. Roll this back, <clears throat> turn it over and just slot that into position. So roll this back, rotate it and that will fit into position there. You've then got a double knee bend. So if you fold this over, it just all fits nice and snug like so. This is pretty much going to be the front of the car so if we leave that like that for now then what we'll do if we turn our attention to the back take this whole kibble part here and when you've got clearance so if these are out of the way what you need to do is just open up the front and then rotate this all the way. oh it's come off it doesn't matter if it's come off i'm going to push it back in so you can see with it attached once these are out of the way you can rotate this all the way around and up like so so you could take it off but i wanted to show you it with it attached just because I suppose that's more of a true transformation. Then we're gonna fold the skirt over. But as we do this, what we're looking to do is sort out the midsection here. So this is gonna fold back a little bit over on itself like this. So see how I folded it and pushed it back? Like so, that was the waist. So I folded it and pushed it back. And it means that these are gonna line up much better. You can now, if you want to, you can literally go straight to taking the roof, extending this right out like so and we can come over to the front. Now, you can see here, we've got two huge green tabs, and on the underside there, I don't know if you can even make it out, there is a, it's a cutout, but it's translucent plastic. So I'm gonna bring this right up and over. I'm gonna pop these in there like so. You'll tell if it's in, because you'll feel it sort of fit into position. Then we can take the skirts, and we're looking to, of course, just line this up. It is like a huge, it's not like really a shell former, I don't know what to call it. It's a bit like it, it just sort of, it's his huge trench coat obviously, so it just encases it. See, we've got the translucent tabs there just at the top. So let's just line this up and this one, and then the rest, it will, as we bring it over, it'll push into a better position. I've just missed that front tab there. That's what I was missing, see over there on this one as well. It's because I'm doing it over the top of the camera. Right, let me straighten this out. Let's bring these arms in. First and foremost, bring them right in. And then what you're looking to do is turn this all the way around, push this right over. Then what we're looking at is this tab, green tab, it's already fit in there for us. It's as simple as that. So if you want, you can spin this over and as you bring it in, turn it around and it'll fit into the gap there. So we've got the arms out of the way. I think the midsection just needs another little push in, to be honest, that's why this has come out. Let's have another look. One more thing I need to say, just as I'm trying to get this to clip in, and typically it isn't. If you wanted to, there we go, much easier. If you wanna store the guns, now is the time. You can only store the guns while the wings are out like this. You'll see what I mean now. So as I bring this around, you've got a huge tab there and loads more all along here. Once it is in position, there's no way of taking that in and out really. So as I say, make your decision now if you want them in. If you don't want them in, it's absolutely fine. But as soon as you connect it up like this, you'll see here, once it's all in, you can't reach underneath and effectively pop it in. So I say that's your decision. With the biceps, now again, just line them tabs up there, like so. Two huge green tabs there, two cutouts there. Fold this back over on itself. Tab that in, tab that in, and there is your beautifully looking alternate mode. Okay then, let's take him back. Also, obviously I forgot to pop that on, so if you did want it on, you just attach it as well. Anyway, right, what we need to do then is separate this back portion first and foremost, lift that up like that so it's out of the way. Then it's a case of very carefully taking the side skirts, I said carefully, a little more carefully than that maybe, and lifting these up out of the way. There's the gun I stored, I'm gonna take it out just for now. Then I'm gonna separate the whole front part as well. I'm gonna lift this right up, fold that underneath, cascade the roof back over itself like that and i'm going to leave that like that for now i'm going to turn my attention 
to, yeah, we'll go to the shoulders. So let's separate the biceps, bring this around. It'll just miss that and then bring it right out of the way and over. So what I did, in fact, it's up to you. You don't have to do it. I just bring it round like so. Turn it round as you bring it round. It's totally out of the way now. The legs, we're gonna fold the double knee bend out like so. Then you need to bring this whole midsection here. See this, tilt that forward as well. Then correct the orientation of your legs. See this gray dial here? Once you bring the foot around, bring that around as well. There you go. And then turn the foot to face the front. Same process here. So if we spin this round now, we've pretty much, oh, apart from taking the camera out. Yeah, there's the front hip skirts, the arms around in position. We just need to look at the back of this. So while this is up and out of the way, rotate these side parts of the car over like so. Then what we need to do is just turn them ever so slightly out of the way because what I need to do first, in fact, I think I need to do that first. Let's have a look. I need to rotate, yep, the front of the car all the way around like so. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna fold this back up there, then bring these down and pretty much that is it. This is all the kibble on the back, it is huge fold it over like so and then it's up to you how you want to do this if you want to spray them out etc but that is your transformation process back to robot